Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is part five, and game plan would be to delete the records from the list view using an item command. In the previous video, we we did uh, edit and update, so we'll be doing a uh, delete in the item command. If you're a beginner, then you need to watch my previous videos, and if you know the things, then it would be easy for you to move in. Layout template, item template, auto edit template, and edit template. Now, first of all. The structure would be something like this. This was a previous look, right? <coughs> so instead, I'm going edit, then update. Uh, I don't need the stuff like that. What I need simply is this would be my delete button, right? This would be my delete button. If I say delete, it will give me a prompt that are you sure you want to delete this record? If I say yes, then it's gone, right? So that's the basic thing. So let's do that. So I don't need an item. I'm sorry, uh, edit item template. So it's gone. In case of an item template, I am having a button called as edit, which I will make it uh, delete. Okay, command name will be delete <coughs> here, and command argument which I require because I need to pass the ID. I mean, you know, based on which uh, the record will be deleted something has no all okay okay so we have set up the command now the same thing goes for the alternating template as well right item template complete my mouse is dangerous okay so this is my alternating template and i will remove this with uh, delete command right and my delete command is delete leo right so i need i have made a check if e dot command name is equal to delete leo then what we need to do is simply delete the record so we'll go like this uh, in order to delete the record what we need is an id right so where id is equal to what we'll do is e dot command argument dot to string that's it now once we have the id uh, let's check for a sake of safety let's check if id we have got the correct id right i have five and this is part five <coughs> okay why am i having an added button again i don't understand one second anyways we'll hit this thing and as you can see i'm getting the id right through the command argument I need to change the name, right? So <coughs> this guy goes delete, copy it, and paste it in uh, this guy. So uh, now I'll be having an edit. I'm sorry, delete, right? So everything looks okay. Let's delete this guy. Okay. I'm sorry, I haven't written the code right. I just got the code. So in order to delete this guy, <coughs> I have to <coughs> query against the database, right? So in order to delete, what I'll say is uh, uh, delete, right? So this is linked to SQL. So I have also having some problem. So uh, in order to delete, I need to say context dot TV user because I'll be deleting a record from a TV user and I'll be saying you can delete on submit once you submit but this guy expects the uh, TBL user right an entity so how do we get the TBL user okay so this is the problem so what I'll do is uh, in order to fix this problem what we need to do is we have to say where delete uh, result and then what we have to do is uh, I'll hit the lambda this time, okay? Context.tvl user dot first or default. So what we'll do is we'll go to the database, we'll get the record, okay, and we'll get the object itself. ID dot equals to ID. Okay, so we have a record now, okay. But as usual, we need to check if delete result is not equal to null. If it is not equal to null, that means we have got the match, right? And we are deleting at the legal guy. 
and if you take a look at the where <coughs> as you can see it's, it is list view attempt one dot tbl user now what is that let me explain you what is that if you take a look at my dbml okay designer as you can see the namespace itself is list view attempt one and inside this there is a table called as tbl user is residing so this is my tbl user is my table but over here it is represented as a class so as you can see right so now if i pass this delete result which is nothing but this guy uh, it is expecting a tbl user entity right so if i pass it over here okay if i close it down and after whatever happens if i say context dot submit changes and after which I need to do the stuff right LST okay we have that already okay let's run <coughs> okay I'm going to delete this record okay so 4 is gone let's delete 7 let's delete 9 okay so we have done uh, we got the deletion right <coughs> but sometimes you know like uh, it happens situation comes when you are not ready to delete the record accidentally you delete the record in some situation we need to provide a client uh, you know pop up or some feedback are you sure or something like that so how do we do that we do that using a return i'm sorry this is the problem return uh, i mean it's a javascript right so we say return and then we say confirm on confirm i guess confirm and then within the braces we say uh, are you sure okay now again this is boring part i need to copy and i do paste in the <coughs> let's run as you can see i got now two or three records right let's say i'm deleting it from then it will give me a prompt are you sure if i cancel i don't want to delete it but if i say delete leo bastard are you sure yes and i'm gone all right so that gives you idea how to i mean give the jobs to pop up and this can be also done from the you know code behind as well uh, using the page script manager the, i'm sorry you have to use i mean register a script from the code behind but no big deal thank you for watching that would be all